beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Hunter's Moon reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for any of those things, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. I've already reported them to YouTube and to Facebook, of course, so let's see how that goes. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds, and let us begin. beautiful Aries so of course the hunter's moon is in your sign so this is very very powerful energy for you it affects your first house of self-expression but also about focusing on your own needs it's also about getting some rest and you know a reminder uh, you know are you getting enough uh, you know nutrients in your diet are you getting enough soul food um, and you know are you getting enough uh, peace in your mind are you taking time out to rest getting enough exercise, all of those things. You're someone who is typically uh, very uh, sort of focused on helping other people in your soul tribe, always being there to help them. And you may be focusing on their needs at different times, but now is the time to focus on yours. Now the Hunter's Moon will affect you in a very powerful way. Hunter's Moon is about thriving when it comes to your dreams, finding that inspiration, relentlessly going after or pursuing a goal, a dream and accomplishing it. It's also about flushing out opportunity. So Aries, you will get this energy of thriving. You'll feel that empowered energy. But right before that transformation with the moon, you may feel completely zapped of energy, not being able to sleep. You may feel like worries come to the surface and a lot of processing goes on. When we've got full moon energy, it is about letting go of struggle or fears, but they do come up to the surface um, to sort of plague our thoughts for a little while before we process them and lay them to rest, okay? So I do feel um, you're going to get a kickstart of energy there in the next couple of days. Now let's see what's coming on in specifically for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Now we got abundance straight away, okay? You are really going to benefit from this time. Also, uh, Jupiter and Mercury are no longer in retrograde. They are direct. So that is about extra luck coming your way. Communication becoming easier. Things not being as chaotic as usual. Dream sweet sleep deep okay so again it is about you focusing on your needs making sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends also the first house is about your identity self-image how you feel about yourself what it is you uh you know are your inner needs and what you feel you know what it is that you've been hoping to achieve in terms of your personal goals, not just in terms of career or friendships or relationships and things outside yourself. It's about your own inner goals. And are you, you know, meeting your own expectations? Sometimes we have to release expectations as well to get our, out of our own way in order to uh, sort of thrive. So let us see what's happening for you. First of all, we got abundance, loving that. So it says here, goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. So I definitely feel there, this is a good time for you, a lot of uh, sort of synchronicity happening, things happening in the way that you would hope for, destiny um, and fate intervening to bring you what you've been working really hard to achieve. Um, I feel like you've worked for this, okay? This has been a bit of a struggle. I feel like it's been sometimes a bit two steps forward, four steps back. Um, Now this could also be about you if you're partnered up in a business or if you are working in a partnership. I do feel like it's pooling people's energy, people working together for harvest time. I definitely feel like this is harvest time for you. Also, I feel uh, they're really drawing me. Now, you know, there's lots of different images on the backs of these cards like that, okay? But they're really drawing me to this one in particular. Uh, something about hexagon. Is that a hexagon? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, hexagon. 
So it is six sides. So either you are currently making something that is hexagon shaped or uh, there's something here about hexagon that's important. I mean, the eye, all seeing eye is an energy of um, intuition, of course. And it's number two, so that is the high priestess energy. So that's about intuition, that third eye being activated there. You seeing something acting on a hunch that brings a lot of abundance there for you, Aries. But also, it's got arrows on it. Now, arrows are typically, if you look up the meaning of an arrow, it's about target. It's a hunter's moon. So it is about you being right on target and achieving something. So arrows, they always indicate ascension. They indicate success, moving up. Um, and success looks differently for everybody, but I really feel like something that has been hard work, you've been paying off, your, your hunches is going to, are going to pay off is what I get here. And there's going to be a lot of good things coming your way. They show me an envelope right now. So either you are folding an envelope and about to put something in the post, perhaps you're writing something to send away. They're just showing me the envelope. They're not actually showing me anybody writing or anything. So either you've just popped something in the post and you're hoping to hear back from something or you're about to receive something that is really uh, brings really good news for you. We're going to go deeper in the reading and see what comes your way, but so far, very positive energy. Now, we've also got sensuality, okay? And it says here, your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. So definitely raising vibrations is very important. And also, I feel... Um, you know, sensual sensuality can be about, you know, your relationships with people in a romantic sense, but I feel like it's about how you interact with your world, how everything means something to you, Aries, but also, you know, you finding that divine, pure happiness and authenticity in each moment, okay? You know, when you think about you dance, you lose yourself in dance, okay? You know, you laugh. It is uncontrollable. It is you being your authentic self, your expression. And I love, I mean, that's unconditional. It should be unconditional. And remembering to play as well, because that's when we raise our vibrations and, you know, we sort of ascend into a more positive energy and we dispel anything that is negative. Now, right now, they are showing me, um, I don't think, I don't think it's, they're not showing me um, tourmaline. They're showing me obsidian. Obsidian. So either you just bought some obsidian, or uh, which is it takes away negative energy, uh, promotes pure positive energy, or absorbs anything that is negative there. Uh, so either you just bought something that was obsidian, whether it was a ring or whether it so show me a ring. So either it was a ring or a, a piece of jewelry, or maybe it was just a stone like this. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's very important. Obsidian. Okay. So. I feel like this, even this word came up in a reading of yours, maybe at the beginning of this year or something. I'm not really sure, 100%. I can't think of a timeline, but uh, yeah, so obsidian, very important. Uh, now, this is number 21. 21 is the world card, so it's about being in the right place at the right time and enjoying the journey. People often forget to live in the moment and enjoy the journey. So you're tying up loose ends. You're not living in the past. You're living in the present. And you're, of course, we all have moments of dipping into the future, visualizing where we would like to be. But ultimately, we live here. And it's about raising our vibrations in this moment. And remember to enjoy today because we're not always guaranteed tomorrow. Now, of course, I feel there's a really positive energy of you interacting in your world to bring abundance, success. The, the world card number 21 is success. It is completion. It is satisfaction. It is fulfillment. So I feel like you're coming back to your own center. Your own needs are being met and you find peace in that, okay, over the next couple of weeks. Now, this energy reading is good for the next two weeks. Um, it's just moon energy to see how you're uh, flowing through that energy. I'm going to be doing, obviously, other readings as well to see what's coming in terms of love or career. But if anything comes up, I will um, give it for you. Uh, we've also got Number 45, sleep, okay? Dream, sweet, sleep, deep. Uh, that's about rejuvenation, making sure that you're ready for the journey. It's about making sure that your body is getting enough so that um, you know you can thrive, but also that you don't feel so exhausted, especially with this moon energy. It was really draining. Um, also, it's about repairing your body and, and putting you in the, the best form that you can be in to um, sort of meet challenges head on. Now it's number 45, when you reduce that, four plus five is nine, of course, which is the hermit energy. So it is about self-reflection, taking some time out to rest, but also to dig deep on your wisdom and reflect 
for your own needs, not be distracted. So for example, they show me someone like cutting off social media and phones and things like that really early, like 9 p.m. or something like that. I don't know, probably they're giving me 9 p.m. because it is a nine, I'm not really sure. Um, and then sort of like disconnecting, keeping those things away and focusing on either, you know, yourself or reading a book or maybe just resting, maybe just actually going to bed early early to bed, early to rise, that sort of thing. But it says sleep that's deep and lasts till morn, wondrous dreams for days reborn. So it is about rejuvenating your energy. And also dreams are very prophetic, especially during a moon, a full moon period, okay? So anything that comes up in a dream, maybe a solution to something that you're wrestling with, over the next couple of weeks, uh, maybe even messages from your ancestors as we move towards Halloween or Samhain, however you want to call it, when the veil between worlds becomes very, very thin and your, your dreams actually are um, vehicles of, oh, vehicles of messages. Sorry, I'm scrying in the water as I uh, pick up the energy here, but they're showing me, you know, your dreams are sort of like messengers, okay? so. Please pay close attention to that and make sure, obviously, that you're getting enough sleep as well. Because they're showing me someone with dark circles under their eyes. So if that's you, perhaps you're not getting enough melatonin or something like that. I mean, what do I know about melatonin? I don't know anything about that, but I'm going to have to look it up now. Maybe maybe for my own um, sort of dark circles. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not the right deck. Thank you so much. I'm truly sure grateful. Now, just as I'm picking up this deck, uh, they gave me the name Brett. Brett. So if your name is Brett, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Maybe you're dealing with someone called Brett, uh, or that is a family member or something like that. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not your reading if Brett does not resonate for you. Oh, love this energy, Aries. I really just want to stop there. Um, yeah, but please take uh, the names or the images that come up as it resonates. Um, we have number two, which is the clover. Luck is on your side. There's a lot of serendipity here. Um, very positive energy. We've got loyalty with that number 18. Um, we do have a slight little... It's been coming up in everybody's reading, Aries. I'm not sure whether it is about um, the climate that we're living in at the moment, but we have like an energy of uh, authority figures kind of coming on in here, like a controlling energy or something. So I'm not really sure if it's the time period that we're dealing with. Uh, I will clarify for you in particular to see what's going on there. Um, oh, they said there's your envelope and they are right. They want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. So definitely a message coming on in here. Oh, I should have called it right at the beginning of your reading and I did not. Oh. Sometimes I kick myself, Aries. I'm like, loads of images come in your meditations when I'm um, meditating on your cards. And then when I start to do the reading, as I'm talking and saying, you know, make sure you, you, you be mindful of scammers and everything like that, they were showing me two golden fish, okay? Um, and one was really curious and one was like swimming up to, to me in the image, but the other one was kind of like in the background there. And then a fish come out for you. And, it was, and it's a golden one, okay? I should have said it, but I didn't. So anyway, uh, it's definitely connecting to the same energy that I was picking up in your meditation for your cards, uh, which is a very, very, it's, it's more good luck. It's abundance. You know, this, this literally, this card in, this is uh, the Lenormand deck. Basically, the fish means abundance. So the fact that you've got abundance as your first card and you're getting it as your last card uh, in this sort of phase of the reading and you're getting good luck. I mean, there's a big lucky break coming for you. Expect things to work out the way that you'd hoped. Now, this is, of course, uh, destiny and fate intervening to bring you a lucky turn of events. Karma, good karma coming, but also destiny, okay? Perhaps even a wish come true, Aries, um, because you've got that number 34 and you've got the abundance card. I do feel like there's a lucky break here, things turning out just perfectly. Uh, your destiny becomes really obvious to you now as well, okay? And I feel like you deepen your commitment to your path. Uh, they're showing me the dog in terms of like a sniffer dog, sniffing out a path or sniffing out an opportunity. So perhaps there is... Um, you're flushing, literally flushing out that opportunity uh, with that hunter's moon because it is in your sign. Um, now, I also feel with this that there is loyalty, okay? Um, I feel like you are stable or you're going to be um, looked after, protected at this time, maybe um, because number 18 is the moon card. So, oh my gosh, they just said, thank you so much, I'm so grateful. They said, look at the synchronicity. And they are right. So your first card is number two. 
This is also number two. This is abundance. This is good luck and abundance. Okay, uh, so they are right. There's two major cards. Two. So it's a, something about a lucky hunch or a hunch paying off here. Your intuition carries you to this really auspicious moment. Um, it's like you dug a little bit deeper. You found this opportunity. You're doing this. But also there's like a protective energy because number 18 is the moon card and that's about uncertainty or fear. Okay, so it could be that you are, you know, overcoming the fear and doing something anyway. It could also be that, uh, you know, you are protected at this time, um, even despite circumstances around the world, for example, that are very uncertain. Um, I do feel like this is a protection. Um, what is that song? So they're playing a song right now and I have no idea what it is called. And the lyrics, they're not really giving me lyrics. It's like, uh, it's like, la la la, ooh, ooh, ee. And I don't know what that is. So I can't really even give you the song. No, I can't, unless they give me some lyrics, I can't, I can't help you with that song. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Uh, if you could give me lyrics or tell me a name of a song, that would be great. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Nope. All I keep getting is like a cowbell. And then so, then it goes la 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 ooh ooh e. Anyway, I don't know what that is. So anyway, I'll try to look it up, but I, I doubt how I'll have any success with that. <laughs> Trying to find that card and that song rather. Okay, but when you get the moon energy especially with the dog, it, it's like flushing out opportunities that were hidden all along, that, that were always meant for you, but you know, it's like things were working behind the scenes. So it could be that people are talking about you right now, Aries, to give you an offer um, on something that you're hoping for. They may be discuss discussing you or discovering you in some way. Um, or they see that you are a loyal worker or someone who's really good at what you do and you would be a good bet to have on their team. Um, so I do feel like there's a really positive energy here. Um, I need to pull a card on this one in particular. It's number 15, which of course is the, the bear there. And that is about, you know, authority figures or someone who's a leader, someone who may be trying to intimidate or control a situation. So maybe a boss at your work, uh, Aries. I mean, it could be that you are stepping into a leadership position and you've endured a lot to get this far. And you just got to be a little bit mindful that when you get to that position of power to use your power um, sensibly, uh, not, you know, uh, abuse your power in any shape or form, which I couldn't imagine that you ever would. Um, but it's number 15, which is the devil energy. So it's almost like don't let um, power go to your head or don't let, um, you know, control get in the way of you being a really good boss or something like that. So uh, I'm going to pull a quick card on it because it could be either you or someone's energy. If you feel like someone is trying to control you, I feel like um, I feel like you will make a move. It's almost like if you're at a workspace where you feel like the, the, the environment is toxic and controlling and you feel um, someone is abusing their power or trying to intimidate in some way, I feel like you're going to find another opportunity and go elsewhere. You'll wait for a little while, you'll keep it on the down low, you'll you'll just stay silent for a little bit and then all of a sudden you give in your resignation and leave. I feel like that's energy is coming if that's you at a workspace. If it's at a relationship stage and someone is trying to, or a friendship where someone is trying to make you march to the beat of their drum, I feel like they got a really rude awakening coming for them because you are not the sort of person who would do that. I feel like you would rather walk away from that energy than have anyone can try and control you. Let me see what this is for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. We got the Temperance card. So that's Patience, Five of Cups, Walking Away Energy, and Three of Wands, Other Opportunities. So I'll go one more because they're giving the same energy of what I'm picking up from the card itself. How would you like to receive? Five of Wands in the reverse is success. And that's two fives. They yeah, have two fives. So the Temperance card is about patience, waiting, watching and waiting, seeing, you know, weighing up your options, seeing if, you know, uh, you can re-examine your priorities. Can I go elsewhere? Um, if I have patience, will it get better? Um, you know, this is about self-control So as well. So it could be that, you know, I mean, I am using another bear, sort of um, the way the Panda Tarot deck there, but... It's almost like waiting something out. 
okay? Seeing if it gets better or waiting something out to see if you get the promotion, step into a leadership position. And if you do not, or you feel like uh, something's, you know, someone's trying to prevent you or block your path, or you feel like there's no freedom in a situation, I f feel like you detach yourself because the five of cups says gone. It says loss, abandoning a situation feeling unappreciated, feeling unloved in that situation and walking away, okay? Uh, the Five of Cups is often um, sort of asked by spirit to look at it from a different direction. It's almost like, look at what, of course, look at what you're losing or what you're letting go of, but look at what you're set to gain, okay? Because people don't really see the perspective, which is those three cups are spilt on the floor, but if they just turned around, they could see that there's two cups right there. So if this is a love relationship, for example, yes, there may have been some sort of um, unhappiness or uh, there may have been some sort of regrets that went on in the union and both parties may have felt unappreciated. But if you turned around or had a look at this from another perspective, could you find the love in this situation? Could you find the unity in this situation? Same with a career. It's almost like, yes, um, if you waited long enough, do you think that perhaps there would be an opportunity for you to thrive in the situation and overcome the sort of, God, they give me this word. They're giving me the word tyranny. Uh, tyranny. So tyranny is like someone who's um, being like a dictator in, so, it's almost like, can you wait this out? I mean, if anyone's trying to control you in that sort of way, Aries, I would not um, bow to it, of course. Um, but it's almost like, look at what you're set to gain. By walking away from something, you walk straight into something better, something, you know, way more fulfilling than ever before. There is abundance, okay? Uh, and the Three of Wands says there is an expansion of opportunities. It seems like you were always meant to walk away from this, whatever this was that was trying to control you. Uh, it's like, when you get a three of wands, it is about you sort of being on the right path and, you know, the right opportunities coming towards you. Trust the decisions that you're making. You're making good choices. There will be harmony and you will align yourself with your heart's desire. But this is achievement. Three of fire is, you know, fulfillment of your desires, uh, fulfillment of your desires rather, and achievement. And that there will be other opportunities, whether that is other opportunities to love or other opportunities to um, bear fruit in a career or you know, it can also be that maybe you've been a little bit too hard on yourself recently, Aries, and you're trying to achieve something and you're trying to control something to the point where, um, you know, you're not giving yourself any room for maneuver. It's almost like be patient with yourself, okay, with that temperance card. Everything will happen in divine order. You know, there may be some moments where you feel a little bit like you let yourself down or you, you got let down by life and that there is sort of regrets here, but there's something greater, something better. And you will see that actually it was always meant to be this way. And the five of wands in the reverse there, it's another five there for you. So you got two fives, two twos. Okay. Um, this is about you sort of like overcoming any of the obstacles or any of the disappointments and thriving. This card in reverse means harmony. It means success. It means problems are resolved and whatever it is you felt like you were fighting for or whatever it is that you've been sort of creatively brainstorming uh, to try and work your way out or find a solution to something, the solution will be found. And this is, you know, ideas coming from left field. So I would say, you know, Really think things through before you make any moves, especially when you got that crane there. It's about, you know, um, that stillness, making a decision, and then all of a sudden taking action when you just know it's the right moment. It's like a hunch, okay? Uh, an instinct, an intuition. Now, we got number 27 there. That's the envelope. As I said, I, I saw, well, this is a letter card. Uh, I saw a communication coming on in for you. So definitely something really positive. Now, this could be from overseas because we got the stamps there uh, that suggest overseas. Um, okay, now give me two things here. Um, I'll give you the first thing because I have to see the, the other... I can't quite see the other thing. So I'll give you the first thing, which is Nani. Nani. So Nani could mean something like grandmother, Nana. It's Nani. It's not Nana. They just said not Nana, Nani. Okay, so um, it could be a name, or it could be a surname, it could be a place, it could be a name of a restaurant, it could be the name of uh, a bridge, it could be the name of anything. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, maybe that's who you get the communication from, someone called Nani, or their surname is Nani. 
Uh, so yeah, pl or the business is called Nani. So please take it as it resonates. Um, definitely some sort of communication coming on in here could involve um, something to do with um, a fresh new start. Could also be to do with love. So let us pull a card on that and see what is coming on in for you. Um, if you're in a solitary energy, because number 27, when you reduce it, two plus seven is nine, which is the hermit energy. If you feel like you're in, you know, you're in a singular energy and you're looking for love, it could be that you get communication from somebody new. So let us have a look and see what is coming on in for you regarding this. Because, oh, I gotta go get that card. They want another one anyway, so I'll go get that. Okay. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, the King of Swords. Oh my gosh, this is really great news. Uh, I'm just going to go get this other card one moment, please. Page of Cups, Six of Wands, King of Swords. This is great. This is like, boom. Something that you've been planning, because that King of Swords is about thinking before you act on something. Okay, perhaps it's even thinking about doing something or actioning something, getting knowledge on it before you actually take a first step on it. Um, and then we got six of wands and we got a page of cups. So in terms of business or an opportunity, this could be a communication from someone uh, that gives you an opportunity to do something that you love. It's a recognition of a job well done, maybe even an award, stepping into the spotlight. I mean, six of wands is celebration, success, good news. So as you can see, there's all those fireworks, those stars rather, they're sort of shining. So this is your, your chance to shine. And I feel like this is a victory. This is a win for you. Uh, there's some really good news coming on in, in the next two to three weeks, I would say, for you. Also that page of cups, this can be new love. This can be, you know, pages tend to bring news. They are uh, news bearers. So I do feel like this is an opportunity um, for you to um, hear either you get a message from somebody new in terms of love, or it can mean in career wise, it can mean follow your heart and there will be money that flows from there, uh, that you will get some really good news coming on in that, uh, you know, someone makes an offer in terms of a project or something. Um, you'll hear really good news about it. Now, it can also mean that you're meeting somebody new um, if you're doing some sort of, uh, well, I'm getting two energies, uh, which is either you meet someone where you are studying to find, to learn something new about something that you love. Maybe you've got a moment of inspiration, you're following a dream, you put yourself on a course or something like that. You connect with this person, but it could also be um, to do with something that, you know, if you do some volunteer work or you're helping somebody else out. I feel like if you're looking for new love, there's a potential to meet someone there uh, as well. Um, but they're really indicating that something just pops out of nowhere, okay? Like that that fish there. Uh, something pops out of nowhere and it's a really good news. I really feel like it's, it's, it's really makes you smile, okay? And we got that King of Swords energy, which is about, you know, seeing things clearly, finding the truth on something you know, thinking something through before you act. This is something that lays the foundations for the future. In the, it's all, it lays a foundation in the present moment and in the future, things are changed for the positive. Uh, this is about expansion. Now this is uh, a Gemini energy, so it's about duality, but it also could mean that you're thinking about, uh, you know, you'll be talking to someone who's very different than you or from overseas, because this is an international card. Uh, it could be about someone that you're thinking about that you haven't heard from in a while, uh, comes on in. So I do feel like there's some really good news coming on in for you though, okay? Now, they, I can see, it's all, I feel like it's a name that they've got there for me because I feel like it's attached to a person, but I cannot quite get it. I'll always be honest and say, if I can't get it, I can't get it, okay? I'm not gonna just pull any name out of a hat. For you, um, oh, okay, uh, if it comes, I, I will let you know, of course, but it's just, it's almost like it's in the water and it's starting to merge, but just as, as it does, it goes really cloudy. So I'm not really sure. So either this person is just kind of thinking about messaging you right now and they're uncertain about something they've got to say to you and then they sort of delete the message and it goes away. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll see as we go on. Now, um, we got number 17, the stork. So this is, uh, you know, about a period of stagnation. And then all of a sudden there's action. There is taking a moment to uh, do something that really brings a lot of success. Uh, the stork is about waiting, 
waiting for right opportunities. And as you've got the hunter's moon, if you really think about what the stork does, it stands there for quite some time, sometimes on one leg, sometimes on two in the water, and it doesn't make any moves. So that it makes no ripples in the water. So the fishes, they just think that their little legs are reeds or, you know, stalks of something. And uh, the fish sort of swim about their business, then all of a sudden capitalize on that fish. You're going to get the fish is what I'm saying. Okay. So the stork will then make a sudden movement to dive that beak on in and grab the fish. So I do feel like you're, uh, you're going to make after a period of nothing happening, you're going to uh, capitalize or gain your abundance on something all of a sudden. Okay. It's also number 17. So that is star card energy. So this is you being in the spotlight for something, either recognition, you're being recognized for a, a job well done, or you're getting some really good news that puts you in the spotlight. If you're someone who's like a performer or something who wants to, um, stand out from the crowd. I feel like you've waited a long time for your moment and this is your moment. Uh, also, if you're someone who has strong social standing in the community, this is people looking towards you, um, thinking that, you know, you're, you're very loyal. They, there's someone that who's a good communicator. They see that in you and they feel like they trust you uh, in order to make the right decision for the community. So I feel, you know, no playing small as it were. Uh, and I say that because we've got the mouse here. Now the mouse is a little bit about worry. It's about fear. Uh, it can also be about playing small. So I would just worry. I say I would just sort of um, Keep an eye on that energy, not worry. I don't feel like you should worry at all. Uh, I mean, worry about the big stuff, of course, um, but worry really is an energy that is, um, how can I put that? If we worry about something, we lose all that energy and sometimes it doesn't turn out in the negative way. So sometimes we release a lot of energy that we could have kept focusing on a goal or a dream, being really positive, but instead we, Ex, you know, ex, expel all that energy for no reason. So I feel like some worry is unwarranted. Uh, now it's number 23. When you reduce it, three plus two is five, which is tends to be about a conflict number. So this is about anxiety. I mean, it could be you're worried about someone's health or you're worried about your own health, especially during the circumstances that are going around the world at the moment. That's a common worry, of course. So I, I feel like you're, you're not alone there. Um, but I do feel with this, it, it's about playing small. And I do feel it's, it's really interesting that some of the readings that have come up with these two cards in particular together, it's almost like you are small, but you are mighty. OK, if you feel like there's authoritative figures or someone at your workspace or someone trying to control you in a situation, Aries, you've got more power than you think. OK, if you think about the, the small little mouse, actually, a lot of people are actually afraid of mice. They sort of jump on their seats. They're like, ah, you know, even a bear is sort of like doesn't know what to do with a mouse. It's like, what is this that's scurrying around? So I do feel like you've got more power than you think in a situation because they are giving that energy. I feel like it came in like a Libran reading earlier about Mighty Mouse. I feel like you're a small but mighty or you feel like what you have to offer is a small offering, but actually don't play small at all. You are wonderful in your energy. Uh, rise up in that. Now I'm just going to pull a quick card to see what this is about. This uh, mouse card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. I mean, it could be that you've got mice. <laughs> it could be that simple. No, it's about shining your light. OK, and not. Yeah. Um, so it's almost like if you're thinking about giving up on your vision or you're thinking about walking away from something that you've battled away for so long on, don't give up. The stars are aligning to bring you success. And also this is a card of, you know, illumination, inspiration. Just before you're about to give up on something, I feel like you have a moment of clarity, a moment of inspiration that actually makes you see it through to the end. Okay. I, if you feel like uh, in a situation, for example, that someone's trying to control you, whether it is a friendship a relationship or an authoritative figure, I feel like you're going to uh, sort of, it's almost like you're going to walk away and contemplate it, not give up on it. But I'm, I feel like you're going to work out that you uh, feel like quitting because there's an unhealthy boundary here and you need to stand in your power, heal yourself, but shine your light and let people realize that, you know, you're bigger 
than any of their negative energy. And I feel you, you've managed to thrive here. Because I feel like this could be a test of faith for you. This could be uh, you know something that was causing you confusion or despair. You've been working so hard on something, not getting anywhere, or you've felt unmotivated and all of a sudden all of your energy is drained and you're like, maybe I should give up. Maybe I don't want to do this anymore. But I feel like you find inspiration. I feel like the thing that's lacking is that maybe you're just tired. Aries and you just need to have a bit of a rest a bit of a sleep maybe you burnt out and it's like your light isn't shining it will shine again but when people are at their lowest ebb they're feeling exhausted trying to spin all the plates sometimes other people who do not have the best intentions they can see a person struggling or they can see that you're not at your best and then they try and take advantage of that and try and take control. So I would say that you're actually going to rise up. You're going to overcome that. Don't give up on your vision for anybody. Shine that wonderful light of yours. Find that inspiration. You got this. Okay. And I feel that this is going to be a time where some really exciting ideas come to uh, you in your sleep or out of nowhere when you're daydreaming and really help you move forward. And we've got success here with that abundance the fish okay so i feel like this is prosperity in its purest form coming towards you um uh, it's number 34 when you reduce it three plus four is the chariot card it's number seven so i feel like you're being motivated you're moving through any obstacles any challenges you're determined to succeed aries if there's one thing about you you've got tenacity you've you're strongly emotional about things you've got passion you've got drive you are an achiever even in your personal goals, okay? It's only that sometimes you burn yourself out. You burn that beautiful light of yours out and you need to recognize when it's time to rest, okay? So remember your inner needs are important. Now, of course, okay, they're just giving me something. One moment, please. They're showing me two things. One is a ball of string. It looks like a ball of string. I mean, it could be a ball of wool if you're a knitter or you're, you crochet or something like that. Ball of string. I don't know what they mean by that, ball of string. Something unwinding? Something that's solid that was unwinding or you're winding something up? Ball of string, something connected? I, Unless you've got a ball of string in front of you, I'm not really sure how to decode it for your reading. So. Maybe it's about tying up a loose end in something. I'm not really sure. So please take that as it resonates. Um, the other thing they're showing me is a bottle of champagne. <laughs> so whenever I get a bottle of champagne, sometimes I'll, I'll meet people and I will see a bottle of champagne as I touch them or speak to them. It means they're going to get some really good celebratory news. There's going to be something to celebrate. So I definitely feel like there's something good coming your way after a period of, you know, battling away. Um, I mean, it could be that someone sends you a gift of uh, champagne. I'm not sure. Um, that would be wonderful, of course. Uh, I don't drink, but, uh, you know, it could be that, you know, you're celebrating something here. I wish they would give me that name because it keeps popping up. It's almost like teasing me. Maybe that's someone at the moment teasing you about their name or something. They're not telling you their true name and it's a... It, it's a it's a conversation between you two. It's like, yeah, I got your nickname. I, I know you by your nickname, but what is your real name? And they're teasing you. It's almost like Rumpelstiltskin. Can you guess my name? I'm not really sure what it is. I'm trying to grasp it, but I can't quite grasp the energy of it. Anyway, lots to look forward to. So let us see what else is coming on in before we close your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What are they meant to harness for this full moon period? Although we can see there's a lot of Good luck. Wow, you got the sun card. This is incredible. Okay, really powerful energy. Really, you know, positive stuff coming on in. I'm so excited for you. This is optimism. Success. Queen of Swords, you could be looking further afield. Looking, dipping into your future there. Um, set, setting healthy boundaries. You know, really sort of self-assured. Maybe even relocating elsewhere. Page of Swords. Investigating something deeper. They want me to leave that there. And we've got two of pentacles. So you do have some choices here. Now, Queen of Swords, you know, look at her. She's got her telescope out. She's looking further afield. Uh, often the Queen of Swords turns her back to the past. Anything that you think, you know what? I don't need to be in that space anymore. You're moving forward. This is also a Libra energy of being self-sufficient and leading with total honesty. 
you know, integrity is important, speaking your truth, but also having clarity of purpose, knowing where you want to go, having a strategy, a plan, and negotiating a better deal. You're going to be very well organized in the next couple of weeks. Maybe that's a typical energy for you. Maybe it's not. I feel like maybe you will surprise yourself. They're giving me the number 1414. 1414. So either you are looking at the clock and it's 1414 right now. Um, if not, it may be a, a number that you keep seeing repeatedly. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. But the Queen of Swords, as you can see, she's on that air balloon and she's bringing that tree with her. So she's bringing all her knowledge and she's either relocating or bringing her knowledge elsewhere, somewhere where she feels she will fit in or where her truth, you know, vibes with other people. Uh, so I feel like this is about strong self-esteem as well. You got this. So I do feel like you're looking a bit further afield. We got the Sun card, so very positive outcome. A lot to look forward to. I mean, look at this line straight away. We have so much good news coming on in and being in the right place at the right time. I feel like you're having a major awakening as well there. Page of Swords is a curious energy. Learning some knowledge, perhaps digging deeper on something, investigating something that you are, you've only even feel like you scratched the surface on. The page of air tends to be about new focus, new ideas coming on in, things that you haven't really worked out yet, but you're investigating or you're curious about it. You're exploring a different way of thinking and you're finding something very interesting that you want to delve into a little bit deeper. It allows you to expand, whether it's expanding your mind, which is beautiful, it's perfect. We should all expand our minds as we walk through life, or whether it's about expanding opportunities and planting seeds elsewhere, having lots of fingers in many pies. I do feel like for some of you, you're setting up a second stream of income or a se second job there where you're trying to maybe free up your time but focus on setting up something financially viable elsewhere because we've got the two of pentacles there so i feel like you're multitasking doing a couple of things at the same time both will bear fruit and will bring stability um it's interesting because um when i rubbed this card they said like the stork and as you can see She's standing on one leg, so it's almost like, yeah, there is opportunity. You will wait for the right moment uh, to capitalize on it, but I do feel like this is about making some choices, and you have a couple of options here. But the choices are all about where you feel stable, but not bored, okay, Aries? That's very important for you. Uh, um, I'm going to quickly pull a card on that Two of Pentacles to see what it is that maybe you're weighing up there. When you get a Two of Pentacles, it also means, you know, make sure you get... How do I receive? Thank you so much. Make sure you also get a healthy balance between work and play. Um, because all work and no play makes you a very dull Aries, especially to yourself. You get exhausted and you get cranky. I mean, I'm Scorpio and I get really cranky when I haven't had enough sleep or when I, ha I feel I've been working really hard and I haven't quite got to where I want to go, but I know I need a rest because I'm at breaking point. Sometimes I go to that space. So um, I feel like you got to make sure that you get enough rest and, yeah, enough rest and, you know, the work will take care of itself almost, okay? Uh, now we've got the Magician card. So the Magician card is about thoughts becoming things, but also accomplishment. You're really manifesting things that you've been visualizing for a very long time. So I do feel like things are starting to show up in your physical plane. And I feel like your focus, your concentration, you recognize that your talents, whatever it is you're, you're trying to sort of magnetize towards you, start to show up. And I feel like you're realizing how much power or control you have in a situation. But the magician in this position shows you're using your power, your control for the positive, for good. Okay, so um, what you think about, you bring about. Really be mindful of that. Also, when you get that card, it's about using your skills and recognizing that anything is possible. Okay, Aries, if it's done, been, if it's been done before by somebody else, you can do it too. Okay, and also we got the moon. So this is almost like you've been thinking about something for a long time and now it just shows up out of the blue. Maybe when you've even stopped thinking about it, okay? When you're about to walk away from it, it just shows up. This is about things working behind the scenes. The moon energy is going to be very powerful for you because it is in your sign and it is that hunter's moon. So it is about flushing out those final opportunities and being right on target. 
So expect the unexpected, I would say. Also, I would say that you're protected during moments of uncertainty. A lot of good luck coming your way, but this is like a lucky break. Things turning out the way that you'd hoped. Your fears are not warranted. I feel like if there's been confusion or frustration on a delay, I feel like you see through things how they were always meant to be this way. It may not have been the way that you wanted them, but I feel like it's better. Okay, so I do feel like a lot of exciting energy coming towards you. Please make sure you get some rest because things are about to kick off for you in a very positive way. Okay, so thank you so much. Oh, uh, now they are showing me, <laughs> they're showing me, um, and I can't really tell whether this is something that has come up in a reading before or whether it's because many, many months ago, uh, someone sent me a clip of this film. I can't think if it's connected, but they're showing me um, a song from Greece. And the song is, you're the one that I want. You are the one I want. I'm sure someone just went, ooh, 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 and finished off the song that I just was... Uh, talking about so if that was you there's definitely something in this message for you uh but you're the one that i want that suggests you know that um either someone wants you for an opportunity or you're being chosen or you're a chosen one for something you're the one that i want you are the one i want let me see if i can get on that energy thank you so much spirit guys great angels how'd you like to receive three of wands an expansion of opportunities the devil Ooh, that could be obsession you're the one that I want. Ace of Wands. Okay, so just when you're moving on from something, I thought it was a really positive song, and then all of a sudden, okay. Um, so if there's someone from uh, that you are currently connected to that you're trying to look elsewhere for opportunities, but you feel like you're tied to something, you're stuck to something, they're indicating you know the Devil card energy is something that's resistant, something that's holding you back. From perhaps getting the thing that you want uh, they're just indicating reject it so if this is a person who keeps coming on in saying they really want you but they don't show any action towards their words i would say you're rejecting that and you are moving into a new cycle same with a career if you've been promised the world in a career like we will staircase you you will step into a leadership position i feel like it really attaches to this control energy right here someone's trying to control something it's keeping you stuck Okay, and I feel like you're releasing yourself from that. So maybe that's what that song means. No, I feel like that song is about someone loving and wanting that person. Anyway, maybe you heard that song before this reading started, or you hear it right after on the radio, or maybe a clip of Grease and that exact song comes up, or maybe that's something you played or you've been singing in your head. Please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it resonates. Maybe it's a friend even sends you that song later in the day. So. Please take it as it resonates. It may even be a message from someone who has romantic feelings for you. So we have number 48. When you got 48, it, when you reduce it, 4 plus 8 is 12, which is that hangman energy, that waiting energy, time of inaction where nothing happens, but you're not procrastinating. You're thinking, you're planning, you're strategizing for the next move, but you're also manifesting reflecting, visualizing new opportunities and manifesting them, okay? So it says here mundane. The 3D. So you're stuck here in the 3D, Aries. We all are. We all have to deal with our mundane uh, lives, you know, the routine, of course. And don't let it get you down, though, okay? Allow yourself to shine. There is a lot of really positive energy coming on here. It says reality, ego, routine. Most of us have to take part in the humdrum of life and day-to-day -day tasks and sometimes consume us. Remember that spiritually, it can be integrated into your... Every Remember that spirituality can be integrated into your everyday, even the smallest of things, like your morning cup of tea. You know, whenever you have a coffee or something like that first thing in the morning, that is your thinking time. You know, you should be rushing around having that. You should be sitting there and contemplating, you know. So I do feel like meditation, very important, law of attraction, those things are very important for you as well to keep manifesting. So, of course, you have to deal with the mundane We've all got bills to pay. We've all got to try and navigate a big old pandemic. So there's really a lot of plates spinning, but I feel like you're gonna find pockets of uh, serendipity, pockets of good luck, pockets of things working out the way that you'd hoped for um, over the next couple of weeks. 
there is definitely some prosperity coming your way so i'll leave it there um if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free personal reading my beautiful aries all you have to do is visualize what you want to achieve see yourself doing it like you got it okay um and because thoughts become things and after that visualization i want you to say out loud to the universe i am a magnet for abundance okay because whatever you say i am is so important you know that of all signs i am okay i am whatever you follow those two important words with you start to affirm and become so whether you say i am successful i am clumsy i am boring i am a magnet for success whatever you say whatever you think whatever you affirm you magnetize into your world and it shall be so so just be careful about how you describe yourself okay so just write in the comments box below, I am a magnet for abundance and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November and I'll, up no, uh, I'll, up no, I'll upload the video in a, um, on that day to announce the winner. Okay. Uh, also, if there's something in this uh, reading that resonates for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All that you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I upload. Um, so they just give me an image one moment, please. Uh, I'll just leave that there for a moment. Uh, yeah, it just lets you know when I upload my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. They're showing me like an old fashioned bell being rung. Okay, not, yeah, it's like ding, 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 ding. Uh, it's, the bell is ringing. So either you can hear a bell ringing right now, maybe it's an old fashioned bell ringing, or you've just rung a bell, or that's something that you've been given, or some a bell ringing, okay, is what they're giving me. So please take it as it resonates. I mean, Bell ringing is like, you know, if I think like old school, it could be like town crier, that's news, right? It's something being, there's news coming on in. I just feel there's like major news for you. Uh, but yeah, if a bell ringing means something to you, then that's something for you. Um, I still can't get that name and I do apologize. I'm gonna have to leave the reading, not getting it. I do apologize. If it becomes clear after the reading, I will put a little note in the bottom in the comments box but if i don't put a note it means it never became clear okay so i'll leave it like that um so thank you so much my beautiful aries love and light